And there I'm going to give away a free t-shirt, bring you a comic hero throwdown showdown fight, bring you comics news, and reveal the books I bought this week. How y'all doing? I'm Victor. And you are watching the Comic Hero Show. Now kick that intro! Now, the end of the month of February is Heart Health Month. I'll touch base on that later on, but for right now, it's time to give away a free t-shirt. All right, on last week's episode, I asked, which black Marvel superhero was born and raised in London, England? Well, the correct answer is Blade. And 12 people have answered correctly, and because they've answered correctly, your name's been in the drawing for a free t-shirt. And that drawing takes place right now. So the winner of the free tea for this week's episode of the show is... Latrice McAllister from Tyler, Texas. So congratulations, Latrice. You have a free comic hero tea. All right, here's the question for next week's episode. And this is both an X-Men, and even though this is the last day of February, it's also a Black History month question true oh, oh and by the way pay attention to this question pay it word for word because um because you, you you could easily get this wrong just by not paying attention to every word in this question true or false bishop was the first black male member of the x-men now if you're not familiar with bishop here's a picture Everyone who answers correctly will be entered in a drawing for a free tea on next week's episode of the show. All right, now James Gunter from West Monroe, Louisiana has requested a Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown fight, and this one features two mighty Amazons from two different publications. Represent DC, we have Wonder Woman. And represent Image, we have Glory. These two are gonna duke it out in a segment I like to call... The, the Comic, Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. Showdown. Welcome to the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. Today, it's Wonder Woman versus Glory. Wonder Woman possesses superhuman strength, speed, stamina, intelligence, senses, agility, and reflexes, nigh invulnerability, regenerative healing factor, divine empowerment, animal empathy, immortality, is a master martial artist and hand-to-hand -hand combatant, weapon proficiency, voice mimicry, flight, energy absorption and projection, and usage of the lasso of truth, indestructible bracelets, projectile tiara, sword, and shield. Glory possesses superhuman strength, flight, and teleportation through reflective surfaces. Who will win? You would think that Wonder Woman would have this fight in a bag, but not so fast. Each time Wonder Woman would attempt to strike at Glory, the latter would teleport from one reflective part of the former's costume through another part and deliver cheap shots. Wonder Woman soon realizes this and either sheds or covers up all the reflective parts of her costume and gets rid of all of her weapons. The last thing she gets rid of is her indestructible bracelets. She then becomes Living Thunder, delivers a massive series of attacks on Glory, and ends the fight with a vicious head. Wonder Woman wins, and that concludes this fight on the Comic Hero, Hero Throwdown, Throwdown Showdown. Thank you, James Gunter, for that request, and I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'll have another one for episode 437, and if you would like to make a request, you 
can go go ahead and do so. Now you know my rules. The first rule is there has to be at least one comic book or manga character involved in a fight. And the second rule, this character this comic book or manga character can go up against another comic book or manga character, a video game character, or a serious minded cartoon character like Optimus Prime, Lion-O, He-Man, you know, anyone like that. And make sure that your um your request is um, Make sure that it makes sense. It wouldn't make a lot of sense for Aunt May to go up against the um, to go up against Big Barda. Just saying. All right, now it's time for comically speaking. So without further ado, let's talk comics. All right, you're probably wondering why are there poker chips on the desk? Um, it'll make sense in a minute. Now there are two things we're going to talk about in this segment of Comically Speaking, and that's one, that there's a brand new Doctor Strange series coming in March from Marvel, where it's going to be written by Jed McKay, with art by Pascal Ferry. Now, um, in 2021, Doctor Strange dies, and he dies while he's overseeing his own, um, his own school of mystic arts called the Strange Academy. And during that time, or after his death, rather, his estranged wife, Clea, takes over as, as Sorcerer Supreme, and one of her main objectives was to resurrect Steven. Well, mission accomplished. This series is going to, I mean, it's going to start uh, Dr. Stephen Strange, but it's also going to feature Clea and Wong. And um, really loved the, the work that Jed McKay did in, uh, in Strange. Read every issue that came out, and can't wait to read this one. I'm, def I'm definitely going to read it. Now, I really didn't care that much for the character um, at first when I started reading comics. But then when he guest starred in certain other books and then when he um, is a member of the Avengers, that it sort of piqued my interest. But the one thing that cemented it was watching this, this Doctor Strange movie from 2016 that starred Benedict Cumberbatch. And now, I'm hooked. But anyway, Doctor Strange, new for Marvel in March. All right, now the second thing is another book. Now this is a mini series. It's called Silver Surfer Ghostlight. And it's written by John Jennings with art by Valentin Delandro. Now at first, and this, and this, and this just proves that even I can be closed-minded at times. I thought that this was go gonna be just one of those um, mini series that to keep Silver Surfer um, relevant. Found out I was wrong. Now this book, debuts a new black superhero coming to Marvel and and the character's name is Ghostlight and his um, alter ego is Dr. Albert Bernard Harper. Now even though he, he's a new black superhero the character is someone that's been seen in Marvel before if in only one issue and that was the issue where he made his first appearance and then also and it was also an issue where he dies. And this was in uh, Silver Surfer number five in 1969. And he was um, co-created by Stan Lee with, and then both John and Sal Buscema also uh, had a hand in, in co-creating him as well. Well, he was a scientist who ended up sacrificing his life to save the world when, it, when a cosmic bomb ends up coming to Earth. And, he, and all this time he was presumed dead, but we find out that he's back from the dead and has superpowers to boot. And honestly, a new black superhero, I'm I'm here for it. I'm def I'm definitely here for it. And with both these books, I'm all in. Oh, and by the way, anytime I do a, a we I every time I do a comically speaking and it features a book and it piques my interest, that's what the poker and you see the poker chips? That's what it's about. So definitely all in on Doctor Strange and Ghost and uh, Silver Surfer Ghostlight. Can't wait to read them both. All right, that's it for Comically Speaking. Now let's get to the comics I bought this week. Comic books I bought this week. All right, here we go. First up is the Amazing Spider-Man number 20. Avengers Forever number 14.
Batman Superman World Finest number 12. Black Adam number 8. Captain Marvel number 46. Catwoman number 52. Deadpool number 4. The Flash number 793. Hulk number 12. The Invincible Iron Man number 3. Marauders number 11. Radiant Pink number 3. Really excited about this one. Red Goblin number 1. Sabretooth and the Exiles, number four. Savage Avengers, number ten. She-Hulk, number ten. Spider-Man number five. Spider-Man the Lost Hunt number four. Star Trek Strange New Worlds, The Illyrian Enigma number three. Really, 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 really excited about this one. Superman number one. Oh, and that's not all. Double cover! Beautifully done by Jamal Campbell. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Armageddon Game, number five. Thor, number 31. Wolverine number 30. Wonder Woman number 796. And finally, X Men number 19. All right, that's a whopping 25 
which brings the total number of comics that I bought since December of 1997 to 11,907. All right, well, I hope y'all enjoyed this week's episode. Here's a question again for a free tea for next week's episode of the show. True or false, Bishop was the first black male member of the X-Men. Everyone who answers correctly will be entered in the drawing for a free tea on next week's episode of the show. And congratulations to Latrice McAllister from Tyler, Texas, who won a free tea on this episode. All right, now, Heart Health Month. Now, this month is Heart Health Month with emphasis on both heart and uh, cardiovascular disease. Now, heart disease is one of the leading causes of death among men and women. Coronary artery disease, arrhythmia, heart valve disease, stroke, cardiac arrest, and congestive heart failure are some of the different types of heart disease. Symptoms of heart disease are chest pain, chest tightness, chest pressure, chest discomfort, shortness of breath, pain, numbness, weakness or coldness in your arms or legs if the blood vessels in those parts of your body are narrowed, pain in the neck, jaw, throat, upper abdomen, or back. Now about half of all Americans have at least one of these three key risk factors. Now, and these risk factors are heart or high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and smoking. Some risk factors for heart disease can, can't be controlled, such as your age or family history, but you can take steps to lowering your, your risk by changing the factors you can control. Now, um, in addition to smoking, we also need to get some exercise in. Now, not to toot my own horn, but earlier uh, this morning, I went and went walking and ended up burning 154 calories. And then also, we need to be careful with what we eat. Now, I know for a lot of us, me included, that could be easier said than done. But sometimes, you know, the higher the cholesterol, the higher our risk of, uh, of suffering from in, any of these ailments. I mean, we, I mean, folks, you only have one life and you need to live it. You deserve to live it. And um, and not only we, we need to watch what we eat, we need to watch when and how much. Both of those pay dividends. Believe me. And um, this is a heart health awareness comic hero team. Inside a speech bubble, you have the, um, the sinus rhythms that in the shape of hearts. Right here on the left sleeve, you have the uh, awareness ribbon. And here on the left sleeve, I mean, left sleeve, right sleeve, uh, you have this uh, you have this logo. Now, if you would like one of your own, you can find them on my website, imthecomichero.com for $17. All right, here's the, run, the, um, the road ahead for the show. On next week's episode, which is episode 436, I'm going to raise awareness of endometriosis. Now, this is a condition that only women um, go through, but I know some women that go through it, and this episode is for them, and I can only imagine what they go through on a daily basis. So if you're watching this and you happen to have endometriosis, I love y'all, and I'm going to I'm going to raise awareness of this cause every March moving forward. Now in episode 437, I'm going to raise awareness of brain injury. Now brain injuries uh, happen quite often than, than you may think. One of the leading causes of brain injury are, are simple falls. Now, in episode 438, I'm raising awareness of multiple sclerosis. You know, MS is um, a lot of folks, there, there are quite a few folks that, that have MS. There are a lot of you folks that have uh, lost their lives to MS or complications due to them. If you don't believe me, one of the greatest comedians that ever have lived, Richard Pryor, died from complications of MS. And then one of the greatest talk show hosts ever, Montel Williams, currently has MS. So this episode is for anyone, any man or woman living with this condition. And then on episode 439, I'm going to raise awareness of cerebral palsy. Now, cerebral palsy is uh, is a birth is is a birth injury, and uh, quite a few and I know quite a few people that that were born with this injury. And this episode is for them and anyone else throughout the world who may be living with it. All right, now y'all probably saw that the um, the count is now at 11,907, so that can only mean one thing. The road to 12,000 has now begun. And in the coming episodes, y'all are going to see this graphic that's going that's going to suggest you that. And um, I'm still trying to decide on on um, 
what the design is going to be, but um, I'll, for those of y'all on social media, y'all will see it first. All right, if you're watching this for the first time on YouTube, welcome. And as soon as you're done, hit subscribe. All right, I'm Victor Nolley on a comic here. I'll see you next week for episode 436. So until then, be safe, be blessed, be a hero.